You know you don't. <laughs> Loser. Dude! Lose, you lose. What are you doing here? Me? What are you doing here? I'm here to pick up Sam. We're walking to school today. You're pick. <laughs> it's Tuesday. And? I pick up Sam on Tuesdays. Well, looks like we're both picking her up today. You drive me crazy. Me? Yeah. You drive me crazy, bro. You're you're the annoying one out of the both of us. Hey, Sam. Hi. Hi. Wait, what are you both doing here? I thought Brandon was supposed to pick me up. Yeah. Uh, well, you see, I must have gotten my dates confused. Do you know how eager I am to see you? You know, I love the both of you. You guys are my best friends. Mm. Let's all go together? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah, uh, we could take my car. Awesome. I call shotgun! Wait, no, uh, I always get the bag. Okay, I'm gonna keep holding on to the camera. Yes, you can have free time. With my dad's you crashed it and I Hold on, what well, was I supposed to do? Just relax, Max. Do not tell me to relax right now, okay? I'm always in the back. You guys suck. Hey, I called shotgun. All right, fair enough. I forgive you because you're cute and you're my best friend. Oh. Brandon over here, he's just annoying. Little Max, he thinks I'm cute. <laughs> Wait, That's funny. I think funny. you're cute too. You guys are both so silly. You're like my brothers. Awesome. <laughs> okay, anyway. So I have to tell you both something insane. Meet me at the benches after class. Insane? Y yeah, what do, what do you mean by insane? Are you leaving us? No, 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 don't move away. I can't live I, you're my you. best friend. Relax, you guys. I'm not moving away. Just meet at the benches. I have to run a class. Okay. okay. Alright, see ya. Bye. Bye. I'm worried. I'm worried, bro. You think she's gonna move away? I sure hope not, but it doesn't sound good, whatever this is. What if she met a guy? Shut up, dude. Don't even talk. But she's cute! I mean, any guy would- uh, I you know, know, I know. It's- It's inevitable. She's gonna meet someone. What do you think she's gonna tell us? I mean- I'm kind of scared. Dude, I don't know, but it's been giving me anxiety, man. I've got to tell you something, okay? I may- No, 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 dude. I got to tell you something, and it can't wait. Sorry. I, I have a crush, crush on Sam. Sam. Huh? You? you? Bro. <laughs> you, you do not have a crush on Sam, yes, all right? I do. You're lying to yourself. No, I'm not. Look, is it really that hard to believe? I mean, I've liked her since the third grade. Ha! <laughs> I've liked her since the second grade. I win. Means I get dibs. <laughs> dude, are you seriously going to argue with me about who's liked her the longest? Yeah, that's a little stupid, ain't it? But what are we gonna do? I mean, I, I don't want to ruin our friendship. Just fake it till you make it, dude. Fake it till you make it? Yeah, pretend that you don't have a crush on her. Simple. <laughs> yeah, real simple. But what if one of us gets hurt in the process? <sighs> Look, dude, the only way any of us are gonna get hurt is if she starts dating someone else, mm -hmm. and then that guy tries to infiltrate our lives. All right, but that's not gonna happen. Yeah, don't even put that energy out there, man. We do not want to manifest that. Yeah. But you're right, as long as it's just you, myself, and Sam, we should be fine. Besides, it's just a crush. I'm sure it's just a little stupid phase. How long can it last? Yeah, exactly. We'll get over it. Uh -huh. Maybe. Anyways, I gotta go to class. I'll catch you later. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later. Take care, bro. Finally, what took you guys so long? Hey, give me a break. My class is literally on the other side of the planet. <laughs> yeah, and I kind of had to talk about extra credit. I kind of bombed that math test. Brandon, you failed that test? Yeah, but it's fine. I'll make it up. I got an A, so we're going to study together next time. But <laughs> Yeah, speaking of which, you know, I've been having a lot of trouble on my chem homework lately. Okay. Yeah, uh, maybe we can meet up and I can tutor you both since you guys suck at school. No offense. Ouch. <laughs> Anyways, what was it you wanted to talk about? Oh yeah. oh, yeah! Spill the beans! Yeah, come on, hurry up. It was making me anxious. Okay, <sighs> okay, okay. You both know how much I love you and that you're basically my best friend slash uh -huh. brothers. And I wanted to be the first one to tell you this. Go on. Tell us what. I have hey, baby. a. <laughs> baby. What? Uh, ah! Oh. My friend. <laughs> you, Samantha Williams. Oh no. Has a boyfriend. Oh no. Why didn't you tell us? 
Oh, no. Why are you guys acting so surprised? I'm 17. I can have a boyfriend if I want. Oh. And I was trying to tell you right now. Oh, no. Hey, I'm Chad. It's nice to meet you guys. I'm not touching you. Yeah, no. We don't accept. Okay. Would either of you like to join us for lunch? No. Yeah, yeah yes. join us for lunch. Oh. That would be so fun. Fine. Yeah, sure. Anything for you. Okay. Let's go. Oh, no. <gasps> you caught it. Good job. Ready? Hey! That was good, that was good. Hey! We're still here. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. You're right. So, how long has everyone here known each other for? Longer than you. Max, you're being rude. No, he's not. He's just speaking the facts. Thank you. You guys all seem super close. I just moved here a couple weeks ago, and I am so glad I met Sam. You just made that observation, Sherlock? Yeah, we've been friends since the fourth grade. Exactly. So, Chad, where'd you meet Sam? We met at a coffee shop. It was really cute. I wanted to tell you guys two weeks ago, but I was waiting for things to be official. Two weeks? This has been going on for two weeks and we're just hearing about it? Well, she was waiting to tell you guys until I officially asked her to be my girlfriend. No one asked you, Chad. Okay, since you're both being weird and rude, we're gonna go. What? Maybe once you fix your attitude, then we can talk. Attitude? Chad is my boyfriend now, and you have to get used to that. And you know what, Max? You don't have to pick me up tomorrow. Chad will. No, no, no. I, I always pick you up, nope. Sam. That's tradition. Our tradition. I mean, traditions change. I am her boyfriend now. Later, guys. I'm gonna get him. And I'm gonna make it look like an accident. I mean, who names their kid Chad? Look at him. His baby blue eyes and his one. Oh, this is so stupid. What does he have that we don't, huh? This is the worst thing that could have happened. I know. We've got to do something. I mean, he's gonna ruin our friendship. Mm -hmm. He's gonna get in between us and then try and split us up. You know, I've seen it happen in the movies, you know. Oh, I know. I've seen those movies. It's always the guys like us that get pushed to the side and get hurt, traumatized even in the long run. But we're not gonna let that happen. We need, we need a, a plan. Yeah, I wonder if we can somehow create a divide in their relationship. Mm. You know, eventually Sam will come crying back to us and then she'll realize that Chad was bad. <laughs> that rhymed. Hey, focus dude, come on. Look, you had a point. We need to come up with a divide. I wonder, does, does Chad have any ex-girlfriends? Because if there's one thing that new girlfriends love, is that ex is coming around and snooping, makes them furious. I don't know, but hey, I'll check his socials. Good idea. Um... <gasps> Here she is. Her name is Lexi. Lexi. Okay, hear me out. I think I got it. What we're gonna do is message Lexi. We'll tell her that we're Chad's new best friends. Tell her that he's been missing her lately. Can't stop talking about her. Wants to rekindle the fire. All that nonsense. Here's the kicker. We tell her that Chad moved into a new house with his parents but that house is actually Sam's. We give her Sam's address, she shows up, she sees Sam and Chad together, boom! And we just watch it all unfold from afar. Dude, that's brilliant. I know. Okay, you know, that works out great because Mr. Chad is gonna be picking up Sam tomorrow to take her to school. Mm -hmm. So they'll be there at the same time. <gasps> this will be perfect. All right, I'll text Lexi. Uh, you meet me at Sam's house tomorrow. Cool, cool. Sounds like a plan. Awesome. I don't see what could possibly go wrong. Exactly. All right, I'll see ya. See ya. I'm coming for you, Chad. 
Thanks for picking me up from school today. You're the best. Anything for you. I'm so glad we're official now. I just hope your friends are okay with it. They better be, because you're my boyfriend and they're my best friends and I don't want to lose anyone. Exactly. And we are running late. Lexi? Chad! What are you doing here? How did you find my girlfriend's house? I am so confused right now. Wait, can someone fill me in? What's going on? Who is she? Excuse you, I am Chad's ex-girlfriend. Hopefully soon to be current girlfriend. Chad, you have two seconds to explain to me what's going on. I trusted you, I thought we were official. Maybe Max and Brandon were just looking out for me this entire time. Wait, slow down. Sam, you know I would never do anything to hurt you. And Lexi, what are you doing here? We broke up months ago. I mean, I got a text from your new friends and they told me you were really sad about our breakup and that you wanted to be with me. New friends? I haven't made any friends yet, except for Sam. Oh, uh, bad timing? Yeah, I told you we should have came later. Wait, Wait. Uh, guys, what's going on? Well, you see, uh, funny story. Um, Spill it. Uh, okay, look, Sam, me and Max were jealous. Dude. Shut up. Like we were jealous. We've been your best friends for years and we're protective of you. So when some new guy came along, we thought he was gonna replace us. And then we also thought that you would give up on our friendship and just forget all the memories that we made. Yeah, we thought that if we broke you two up, we'd get you back and we wouldn't have to worry about Chad. And we came up with this brilliant, terrible idea. Basically, uh, me and Max pretended to be Chad's old friends and we texted Lexi. That's kind of why she's here. I can't believe you're friends, Sam. I, I don't even know what to say. First of all, I am so upset right now. I can't believe you guys just wouldn't let me be happy. You guys are supposed to be my best friends. You're supposed to care about each other's happiness and clearly you're just being selfish. Second of all, I really like Chad, but that doesn't mean he's going to replace you. You guys will always have a special place in my heart. You've been my friends for years. We're sorry. And we never should have gone behind your back and caused this whole mess. Yeah, we should have known that what happens in the dark will always come to the light. And Chad, look, we're really sorry about all this. We never should have included your ex and tried to ruin your relationship with Sam, all right? She is an amazing girl and you deserve to be in a relationship with her without us intruding on you. So I came all the way here for nothing. Yeah, pretty much. Sorry. Oh, this is so annoying. I thought we were going to try our relationship again. Definitely not, Lexi. Bye. Sorry. I get you guys have all been friends for a really long time. And I'm not trying to ruin any friendships here, but I'm dating Sam now, and I really want to be in her life, and I just hope that we can all get along. So how about a fresh start? Deal. Deal. Welcome to the team, bud. You guys are the best. I love you all. Why don't we all go to school together? Yeah, we'd love to. Sounds fun. Bro? She can never know about our feelings for her. Yeah, that's definitely for the best. But hey, we'll probably get over it when we have girlfriends, right? After what we just did, we don't deserve girlfriends. But a boy can dream. 